Welcome to OpenOffice Video. In this video we'll show you how to add data to an existing graph. You see here we have the pretty chart we created in the last video and where we're going to uh, add data. Let's say we have sales but we also want to have the sales percentage increase from last month. Now we need to insert a little uh, uh, formula here. Um, let's just assume there was not there were no sales from December. So let's just say this was a hundred percent increase. Um, and let's just calculate here the the increase from February is the value for February minus the value for January. And that's of course the increase but that's not the percentage increase so we have to actually divide this by the first value from January. Now the point in 0.14 and to actually make this a percentage we click here on the percentage. Now we can just copy this formula down and it will adjust itself. Here you can see that it now uses March minus February divided by March. By, sorry, March minus February divided by February. So this is actually the percentage increase. And as you can see, this is a quite a big jump. Now we can copy this all the way down. A very easy way to do this is use the uh, bottom right corner of the cell. You have a, like a square here. If you move the mouse over it, it becomes a plus. You can select it click it with the left mouse button and drag it all the way down and it will copy all the way down uh, only this number doesn't look right so we'll create this in a hundred but this isn't the, of course right what this percentage number does it does times a hundred percent so if we want to have a uh, the proper hundred percent here we have to insert a one here and then give it the all right, what we'll now do is we'll add this data range to our table. We'll select the graph itself, not the chart area. Yeah. And we go to data ranges. Here we have one. Uh, the data range is set to this one. We're going to change that to include the last column. And now it immediately includes something. You see this? Yeah, but because the values are so low in respect to the cell and to the, the sales numbers, they're all different. But this is what we want. What we will do now is change the chart type. We again make sure that the chart itself is selected. We click on the mouse button and go to the chart type and we select column. Now, it still has the same uh, values, but then, uh, so it's still at zero, but at least there's a clear um, distinction between the columns and the lines now. What we will do now is to uh, is give the, uh, this data series, we'll give it its own y-axis. We'll click here and we say insert axis, we set it secondary y-axis. Problem hasn't changed, but now we can, but we can do change this axis separately. We can say scale. We can say don't do this automatic. Maximum 100. Minimum uh, minus 100. Okay, so we click OK. And now it's gone. Ah, because the major interval needs to be 10. And now we can say, select this one and adjust it, assign it to the secondary y axis. I click OK. Now, here we have. <laughs> okay, I think this doesn't work out quite right. Maximum 100, major interval 100, minimum minus 100. Okay. Now you see, now it's proper. 